M0FXB. Zygu have announced a new 100 watt linear HF 6 meter amplifier called the GPA100. Now you would have heard of the XPA125, very popular, around five to six hundred pound in the UK. Now, if we flick across to the GPA100, Zygu have it on their site for 550 euros. I noticed that Moonraker have these in stock already, but the price is quite hefty. As you can see here, and I've got some nice close up photographs just here. If we just flick a couple, and of course, the G90. Flicking through these photographs. Now, amplifiers are becoming more popular, especially in the UK, because we are allowed more power now uh, since the, the, the rules changed in the UK. Um, so I'm not really sure what people think about this. I don't like running more than 100 watts full stop. It just seems a lot of money to get that extra power when I think the better work, if you ask me, if you've got a 20 watt radio, would be to put in um, put in some you know some better work into your antenna and we've also got amplifiers like the PA100 and I've got the PA50 and I prefer using the PA50 this is the 100 because it's it's half the size and the PA50 is, I think is about 160 pounds this is nearer the 250 and they actually work really well and they'll work on any radio and very configurable so I'm not personally, Andreas, you know, m 0 convinced that I would want to spend this kind of money on an amplifier like this. I'm, I'm sure it's good. Um, let's just read some of the specifications that are just itemized here. If I just move that over a bit before we end the video. It says the Zygu GPA100 is a compact 100 watt solid state HF 6 meter linear amplifier. And I do think linear is better. Designed for portable use. And it says here 1.8 to 54 megs. I mean, if it, if it was offering something like VHF and UHF, because if you look at, say, the Optima that comes with the Yesu, yeah, that's offering you. 50 watts on VHF and UHF. Now, I agree, at the moment, as far as we know, it will only work on, on the ASU, but you never know with hands what they come up with. Um, so there you are. I mean, you tell me what you think. Someone told me about it. I was... Because firstly, I thought, well, OK, why have they brought that out when the XPA125 was so successful? For me, the, one two, the XPA125, if that price comes down, I'd probably get one. Uh, if it came down to about £300, um then i feel like you've got a bargain yeah um especially now that they've decided to bring out this new one but there is you find with these amps you end up with cables i put i feel you end up with cables everywhere and most of the time i listen I don't very often transmit and if i do want to transmit on 100 watts i'll use my icom 7 300 i'll dig out a 100 watt radio um rather than spend a thousand quid on an amplifier i'd rather spend 500 quid Anyway, give me some feedback on this because it's a real interesting one. And um, and there are other amps, but I just still got this gut feeling that the Micro PA100, it wins. I'm just going to quickly check the price of the, um, now that they've announced the 125, how much can we get the XPA125 from a budget seller? I'm going to have a look. Yeah, it's still up there, you know, still going to be... 450 upwards that's, and that's anyway let me know thanks for watching bye for